What's good folks, it's Nightmare Frame here with a new Warframe video coming at you with several ways to prevent you from dying. Like seriously, stop dying. Alright, there are a bunch of ways to survive in this game and that's by simply using certain mechanics and five of these mechanics can all be used together on several builds, which is pretty damn insane. But survivability mechanics are split into eight categories and they are maneuvers. Crowd control, damage reduction, invulnerability, damage negation, evasion, invisibility, and lastly, murdering your enemies to death till they are dead and not living because they are dead from dying from death of not being alive. <sighs> Yes, that's exactly what I meant. Let's start off with maneuvers. This means your Warframe's movement. I, I know this may be very obvious, but legit, it will save you and there are tons of people who don't take advantage of this because standing still in the line of fire is pretty damn stupid. So moving around will actually give the enemies a harder time hitting you. And of course, this allows you to go in and out of cover and even avoid certain projectiles. Bullet jumping and making contact with enemies can knock them down. And dodge rolling gives you a 75% reduction from all incoming damage. And you can take full advantage of that with frames like Mirage since her passive gives you 50% a faster maneuver speed. And you can even use mods like Amalgam Barrel Diffusion for faster dodge rolls and that mod can also be really damn good on another frame like Protea since she has a shorter dodge animation. Alright, let's take a look at an in-depth survivability tool, and that's crowd control. And every single frame in the game has a CC ability. Since there are tons of ways to do this, even with maneuvers, when you knock down enemies, that's a part of CC. A lot of effects can fall into the CC category. Incapacitation, blinding, slowing, stunning, displacement, deception, and disarming. Starting off with slows, most iconic and powerful slows come from Sevagoth's Gloom and Nova's Molecular Prime. Slowing will reduce the animation speed of which the enemies will play out. If they have a preset animation to a certain action or reaction, they will have to play that out even if they are slowed. If you haven't seen my cheesy Steel Path Mesa build where I went up against level 9999, where she becomes one of the hardest things to kill in the game, do go check that out. Since that build utilizes three CC categories, slowing with gloom, stunning and blinding with shooting gallery and her muzzle flash augment. I'm maximizing the slow mechanic with a stun. For example, shooting a gallery will jam enemy weapons, which is a stun, because they are stuck and unable to perform any other action besides the stun animation. While using the augment muzzle flash, that'll stun the enemies again and blind them after that. That stun animation will have to play out during their slowed state and blinding the enemies will pretty much not have them attack you because they can't they can't see you you know because they're blinded for example if you have the max gloom percentage which is 95 percent slow you can add on to that slow even more with cold procs since they're a different instance of slow with 10 stacks of cold that's an additional 75 percent slow and get the enemies to not even move oh yeah Taking a look at the CC, Stun, you can find this on quite a few frames, and some frames get a Stun CC from augments like Mag and Mesa. Jamming enemy weapons is a Stun, the Stun from Excalibur's second and third, Breed Surge, and Shock Mode from Wisp, and a more interesting Stun is Silence from Banshee. Banshee Silence stuns enemies for 2 seconds when they're in range of the ability, and you can't recast it. And if you want to stun the enemies again, you have to move in and out of range. But Silence has another effect, that's also to silence enemy abilities and effects, like the Xmas units, and even Acolytes. So you know that pesky, scary violence? He can't even silence you back. Big brain, right? You have other forms of CC, like Incapacitation, where you can lock down a group of enemies with several Warframe abilities and even Operator Arcanes.
There's also Disarming, where you can get that from Loki's fourth ability, Zaku's second, and Baruch's third, where you permanently disarm enemies, basically enemies who had guns and can no longer shoot you. Displacement is pretty much moving the enemies from its current location. You achieve this with Loki's switch teleport, Mag's pull, and Frost's ice globe, but Frost's ice globe can slow and stun enemies under the freeze effect. Let's not forget that Frost's ice globe can deal 50% true damage on collision with the enemy enemy and obstacles. There's also deception. This pretty much means you're turning enemies aggro away from you and having the enemies focus go towards the deceptive ability, which can be found on Loki's decoy, Wisp, Will-O-Wisp, Saren's Molt, Nyx's Chaos, and even Octavia's Resonator. Okay, invisibility. This is pretty straightforward and damn easy. You, you press button, you go invisible, enemies can see you. They will still be alerted to alarming gunfires though. But, but yeah, that, that's, that's, that's invisibility. All right, let's go over damage reduction. Damage reduction is pretty straightforward as well, but can get really complicated. Health, armor, shields all play into part of damage reduction, basically reducing incoming damage done to your defenses. Damage reduction is multiplicative with other forms of damage reduction. So frames with damage reduction abilities can stack that up with mods like Adaptation, Quick Thinking, Aura Mods, Elemental Damage Reduction, Augments, and even using your Ancient Healer Specters, which can reduce enemies' damage done to you. Warframe like Trinity, Gara, Baruch, and Nidus have great damage reduction abilities. Even Mesa reduces incoming damage from all bullets. You can reach 100% damage reduction with Gauss, but that's only to IPS, Heat, Cold, and Blast. A weird one is Zephyr because you don't take any damage from projectiles, but still can take damage from everything else. Listen, even though you can stack up your damage reduction to crazy high levels, that doesn't mean you won't die. Remember, 1% of a big number will still kill you. Reliance on damage reduction can only take you about psh, to level 500 of pure face tanking survivability. And no amounts of damage reduction can save you from enemy toxin weapons, which is a one shot regardless. Now, similar to damage reduction, but way better, is damage negation. A few frames have access to damage negation, or damage prevention, and one of them is the true tanks of all tanks, Revenant, with his Mesmer skin. And you also have Rhino with his Iron Skin, basically having you take no damage for a certain period. But there's also Shield Gating, which is a part of damage negation. Shield gating is a passive that is available on all your warframes that have shields. Doesn't matter how much, they just have to have shields. So the damage that would usually and completely one-shot you will be stopped by your shields, and that damage will be prevented going to your health, just as the name entails. Shield gate. So if your shields break, you will have 1.3 seconds of damage negation to everything except toxin because toxin bypasses shields regardless. While the shields are recharging, meaning not fully regenerated, and they happen to break again, you will only get 0.33 seconds of damage negation. So lowering the shield value by using a decaying dragon key makes it easier to replenish your shields because the lower the shields are, the sooner they recharge so you end up getting the entire 1.3 seconds of damage negation this is easily done by using the auger set mods and or brief respite or any abilities that can regenerate your shields like pillage bless or polarize and to give you a longer instance of survivability you can equip rolling guard for three seconds of invulnerability to all damage to engage or disengage to help you reposition yourself and also cleanses you of status effects especially if you get a affected by toxin DOTs. Evasion is a stat which gives you a chance to not get hit. You can get this from Titania and Zaku abilities. Nyx is passive, even mods like Agility Drift and etc. And also from your maneuvers. Yes, moving around is part of evasion. Okay, on to the last one, the strongest of all, invulnerability. It is literally the strongest source of survivability in the game because you're literally invulnerable to damage. It's most common with Harris Covenant, Limbo's Rift Plane, mods like Rolling Guard, and even using the Focus School of Vazarin, utilizing the Protective Dash Node. Easily done by dashing into yourself and very useful in high-end endurance runs. Yes, you can also get this from Martyr Symbiosis, just not that reliable, and you can also get it from Nidus. His undying passive makes you invulnerable for 5 seconds. That's only if you take a lethal hit though. Alright folks, that has been it for me. I 
I do have enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Warframe content, streams, and so much more. Do refer to the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.